Now let's go to Egypt, where the president's been warning that continuing unrest is threatening to paralyze the entire country. In a speech marking his first year in office, Mr. Morsi acknowledged that he did make some mistakes. Many of the president's critics are young Egyptians. They say the economy and public security have deteriorated under his leadership. Opponents and supporters of the president have already come to blows. Officials say at least one person was killed when street scuffles broke out in the northern city of Mansoura. More than 200 people were injured. The Muslim Brotherhood office in Sharkia was ransacked and its contents set on fire. The attack happened after the president gave a speech warning that further unrest would paralyze the country. In his address to the nation on Wednesday, he blamed the country's enemies for sabotaging its democracy. And the president is calling for unity. Take a listen. I stand before you as a citizen, worried for my country and homeland, and my nation, and for Egypt, dear Egypt, that God forbid if harm was befallen on it. It will impact the entire Arab and Muslim world and the world in general. He didn't do anything for the Egyptians. Egypt has been destroyed and broken down. We've gone backwards and the country is divided. <laughs> In a more defiant tone, Morsi warned that the continuing unrest was paralyzing the country and threatened those he saw as conspiring against him, trying to sabotage democracy. This speech was supposed to calm the people down, not to pitch them against one another.